Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning. Good to be with you. And I uh, need to uh, apologize for not being able to get the devotion out yesterday. Uh, we were uh, busy with the, uh, uh, the fellowship meeting and, and got so consumed with that that uh, we never got back. I never got back to doing the devotion, so that I apologize. But let's get started this morning. Uh, again, good to be with you. Of course, as I said, it's Wednesday, and of course tonight we are having services, uh, and so we encourage you to, to listen. And if you have no way of, uh, if you know of people that have no way of listening, we encourage you just to come and sit in the auditorium. And uh, of course, we're kind of staying away from that through this month because of COVID, but, but we want you to hear the Word of God. That's important. And so, so encourage people that if they cannot listen online to, hey, why don't you just go by the church and just sit there in the auditorium? It's going to be at 7. We're going to be there. And uh, so uh, we just want you to hear the Word of God. And so please, uh, please do that if you can, okay? All right. Well, we are in Romans chapter number 16. And uh, we're almost done with Romans, but we still got a little bit of time here. So um, in Romans chapter 16, have you ever written a letter to someone and, and just kind of said, hey, can you tell so-and-so I said hi? Uh, you know, and well, that's kind of what's happening here. As the writer here is writing, he's writing and telling these Christians, uh, and he he has a, a long list of people that he greets or that he wants uh, to say hi to. And, and uh, are there are Christians that he recommends that he, he says, hey, um, for example, uh, Phoebe, uh, our sister. And uh, he says, I want you to greet her. And, um, but you know, it's interesting that um, the many people that, that the writer mentions and what he calls them. Oh, I'm not talking about their name. A lot of their names is, is very difficult to even pronounce for me. But, but he also says that they are, uh, for example, a servant of the church. They are helpers of many. Uh, they are my helpers, he says. Uh, my uh, well-beloved. He says, he, he describes some of them as people that have, uh, have much labor on us. Uh, he refers to them as my fellow prisoners, our, our helpers in Christ. And he even mentions uh, who labor in the Lord. And what he's talking about are these people, these servants that he wants to greet, he wants to encourage, he wants to say hi to. And they account for all kinds of people. I mean, we're talking about mothers, dads, brothers and sisters, uh, men and women, uh, people that serve the Lord. That's, that's what they all have in common. They're saved and they're, they actively serve the Lord. And the writer just wants to say, hey, I want you to tell them hi for me. I just want to greet them. I just want to express my thanks to them. I want to, I want to just recognize them. And I tell you, what a blessing it is, no doubt, to have people that are actively engaged in serving the Lord. They're not only believers, but they are truly servants. They are doing what they can for the cause of Christ. And I tell you, it's exciting. I guess let me ask you this. Are you a servant of the Lord? Are you actively involved and doing as much as you can to serve the Lord? As If someone would write a letter for you or to you uh, or maybe to someone in your area, would they say, hey, could you, could you, what would they say about you? In other words, would they mention you and say, you know, she's just a, she's such a servant of the Lord or, or, boy, they are, 
They've been such a blessing to me uh, in, 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 my, in my ministry or whatever the case may be. You see, folks, how important it is that you and I serve the Lord. The, I tell you, we, we live in a world today where people dedicated them, dedicating themselves to serve the Lord uh, is so important. We're losing that. We're losing people to that. People are not wanting to be that committed to the things of God. But boy, this list that, that is mentioned here, uh, these are people that serve the Lord. They are helpers. They, even to the point of, of giving their own lives if they have to. I mean, that's how serious this was. So I challenge you and I encourage you. First of all, I hope and pray that you're saved, that you know the Lord, but, but more so even this, that you serve the Lord. That, that, that God is using you and you're willing to be a helper in the Lord, to, to, to do what you can. That's the kind of people that is needed to accomplish what God would have for us. So, are you serving the Lord? May today, you and I set out and let's do all that we can for the honor of the Lord uh, and the glory of the Lord. You see, that's what really matters. It really does. So, uh, God bless you today, and may the Lord bless you as you serve him. Lord, thank you so much for the privilege of not only uh, being saved, but Lord, that we get to serve you. And I pray, Lord, that you would bless us today. And dear God, help us to, to, to have opportunity, have, give us the health that we need, and Lord, and the ability that, that, uh, to do what you would have us to do. And Lord, bless your church. May it move forward during these days, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you today. We'll see you tomorrow.